I don't think that our patterns and the way that we function are really as complicated as we would like to give ourselves credit for. I think all of these things are essentially the same process and the same, like business is a, a metabolism for you know, countries and metabolism is essentially organic and or, you know, organic you know, life functions all come down to chemistry and um, so on and so forth. If you telescope out further from that and look at kind of like celestial images, they look very organic too. And so there's like this telescoping in and out, kind of a fractalized way of, of looking at the work that, and the imagery. So that is very much about the body, though it's not readily apparent. I think I've discovered that more in the last couple of years as I've had more of my own space to sort of transform in these ways. And a lot of it began as just um, decorating at home. And then it, they kind of go off on their own. You know, they want to go in a certain direction and I have to take them that, that way. Otherwise, they just kind of like complain to me when I walk by. They're like, oh, I think you should really add some of this over here and maybe a little more over there. And, and pretty soon you've got these sort of like between the lighting and the forms and the sort of stuff suspended from the ceiling or growing out from the wall or whatever. You've got all of these different interactive elements that are kind of playing off of each other. I work a lot with shadows and lighting and um, kind of trying to create compositions that are all based off of uh, these different changing shadows depending on perspective and um, where you are and uh, repetition of form and everything. So it's a, it's a pretty, I guess it's a new direction for me in the last two years, but it's one that I feel like is much more appropriate than painting has been. One of the particular challenges with installation work is the transitory nature of um, transforming a space that obviously at some point will have to be transformed back into its original state. So in a way you can conceive of how you'd like to treat that space but um, you don't end up knowing what you're going to do with it for sure until you have it so you can measure it. And um, since a lot of those pieces are really organic processes for me, um, I really have to be in the space and working with it and then it grows out of that so it's not even something I can really attack in a sketchbook. Mm -hmm. 